हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम स्पेशल टॉपिक्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स व्हिच आर रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर योर हायर क्लासेस एंड द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज रिलेशन ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर बिफोर डिस्कसिंग इट मैथमेटिकली लेट्स टॉक इन जनरल ओके द वर्ड रिलेशन वी यूज एवरी डे ऑलमोस्ट इन आवर रियल लाइफ Yes, for example, we say that A is father of B. A is father of B. So, what is the relation here? Father of. Okay. Similarly, we can say A is teacher of B. So, what is the relation here? Teacher is the relation. So, what is the relation here? Relation means it's a type of, it's a correspondence. which can be established from the elements of one set to the elements of another set okay so what is the relation it is a correspondence which can be established from elements of one set to the elements of another set okay now it is the general meaning now what will be the mathematical definition of the relation see what is the relation basically a relation r defined from the set a to another set b is the subset of a cross b okay now here two things are very important for you to understand what is a cross b and what is the meaning of subset and these two things i have already covered in my previous videos okay you can find the link in the description box so what is a cross b just for a revision for you a cross b is the collection of all ordered pairs where first element belongs to the first set and second element belongs to the second set okay first set i am talking for a like this because it is written at first and then b is for the second set okay so this is the meaning of a cross b and what is relation relation r will be the subset of a cross b relation r will be the subset of a cross b now when i say r is the subset of a cross b then what you can understand here that every element of r will belong to a cross b from the definition of the subset okay or we can say like some or all elements from a cross b will belong to r now that will depend on certain conditions that what element will belong and which element will not belong to r okay for example uh, let's write an example here for you so that you can understand it in a better way question may be let r be the relation r be the relation is divisor of let r be the relation is divisor of from the set a is equal to 1 4 and to 2 uh, to b is equal to 2 7 okay list r list r means you have to write all elements of r now how you will write since it is the beginning of the lesson so we are going to start with a cross b and once you are done with good number of questions and concepts are clear to you then you can directly write the values of r okay no need to write a cross b so a cross b means how you will write the ordered pair if you remember see for a cross b take one element of a and write ordered pair with all the elements of b so 1 2 and 1 7 then after that 4 2 and 4 7 okay this is a cross b now how you will write r as i have told you r means the ordered pair which will satisfy this relation and what is the relation is divisor of and what you will understand here every time relation should be defined from first element to the second element so before is you write the first element and after of you write the second element okay and check whether it is right or wrong for example one is divisor of two this is correct because one is divisor of every number yes one is divisor of seven this is also correct so it will also belong to r 
then 4 is divisor of 2. This is wrong because 4 is a bigger number. So it will not belong to R. Okay. 4 is divisor of 7. This is also wrong. So only these two elements will belong to R. Okay. So you can see from here that R is the subset of A cross B. And it is quite obvious because we are taking elements of R from A cross B. So it has to be the subset of A cross B. Yes. Okay. Now, hope this example is very clear for you. So, whenever any relation is given, you just write first element before the relation and second element after the relation. And if you see that, yes, it is satisfying the given condition, this is true statement, then that particular ordered pair will belong to R, otherwise it will not belong to R. Now, my dear students, there are two types of conditions. See, what will happen or what can happen? Maybe a no ordered pair will not satisfy any condition. Okay, no ordered pair will satisfy the condition. So, what, what uh, will happen in that case? No ordered pair will belong to R, means R will be blank. So, that type of relation is called empty relation. What we say? Empty relation means R will be equal to 5. For example, suppose A is 1, 2 and B is equal to 3, 4. Okay. And then what will be the relation here? Relation A cross B or relation I am going to write here down. Relation is, is greater than, is greater than. Okay. And relation is defined from A to B. So, right here A cross B, it will be 1, 1, 3, 1, 4, then 2, 3 and 2, 4. Now, what we have to see? We have to check whether any ordered pair satisfies the relation or no. You see, 1 is greater than 3. This is wrong. 1 is greater than 4. This is also wrong. 2 is greater than 3. This is wrong. And 2 is greater than 4. This is also wrong. So, no ordered pair is satisfying the condition. So, it will be an empty relation. Okay. Now, what will be the next one? universal relation. So, it's opposite. Okay. Universal relation means when every ordered pair will satisfy the condition means in that case R will be equal to A cross B. Same uh, set A and B is the same here. Okay. Just I am changing the relation. In the, At this time I am taking is smaller than. Is smaller than. Okay. So, if you take the smaller, this relation for the same A cross B, so you can see here, 1 is smaller than 3, it is right, so it will say, it will belong to R. 1 is smaller than 4, this is right. 2 is smaller than 3, this is right. And 2 is smaller than 4, this is also right. So, you can see every ordered pair of A cross B is satisfying the condition. So, that is called universal relation. Okay. Now, another thing is domain and range of the relation. Now, this is very important for your sim simple questions. Okay, See, domain and range, this term will be widely used in relation and function, especially in the function. Okay, But it is just a beginning, so try to understand with the relation only. See, for example, if relation is given as some ordered pairs I am writing here, say for example, 2, 7, 4, 9, then 3, 6 and then 5, 9 like this. Any ordered pair you can write. Okay. So, what will be the domain? Domain means from every ordered pair you will write the first element. Domain means first element of every ordered pair without repetition. Okay. So, it is 2, 4, 3, 5. You see, I have written only the first element from every ordered pair. So, this is called domain. And what will be the range of the relation? Range of the relation will be the second element of every ordered pair without repetition. So, this will be here you see 7 is the second element, then 9 is the second element, 6 is the second element and see 9 comes again second time. So, no need to write it for the second time. So, this is the range. Okay. So, what is the domain for the relation? Domain means all first element of every ordered pair 
and range means the second element of every ordered pair is called range okay now let's see some questions based on these definitions okay and i am sure you will understand these questions easily so first question is let r be the relation defined on the set of integers students it is very important to see what is the set given here okay because we are going to consider number accordingly so here relation is defined on set of integers as this is the relation given for example i have written there father mother sister brother teacher okay greater smaller so here what is the relation relation is the product of two numbers must be equal to 10 where a and b both are integers okay because this relation is defined on set of integers list r so we have to write all the elements in r so what we have to do here product is 10 so what all factors are possible for this 10 what all pairs are possible 1 and 10 2 and 5 and i don't think that we can find any other pair yes so one ordered pair will be 1 10 another ordered pair will be 2 5 but this will not be the final answer why because we can flip the elements also and that element that ordered pair will be different means we can write 10 1 and 5 2 also okay but still this is not the answer my dear students why because z is an integer and integer can also be negative so what we can do here we can write minus 1 and minus 10 also why if you multiply these two numbers you will get plus 10 yes or no just check with the answer okay maybe by mistake i will write some wrong elements so you must check that okay so minus 2 and minus 5 also will be satisfying the condition if you multiply them you will get plus 10 same minus 10 and minus 1 also and for minus 5 and minus 2 also so this is the answer for this particular question okay just try to check another question with writing the different number here and see how answer will vary here okay now let's talk about this question now this type of question you will find in another way also when we will study types of relations okay in detail but in just a simple language i have tried to written here uh, see r is the relation defined on the set of real numbers such that r is equal to a b and a is less than or equal to b square where a and b are real numbers now write the value of a or find the value of a so that a a doesn't belong to r okay now what you have to see here what's the relation relation is a is less than or equal to b square what for for a b belongs to r okay means if any ordered pair has to be in r then it must satisfy this condition so if a a has to belong to r then what it should be it should be a is smaller than or equal to a square which seems to be correct why because 5 is less than or equal to 5 square this is correct because 5 square will be 25 okay minus 1 will be less than or equal to minus 1 square because minus 1 is smaller than or equal to 1 okay this is also correct but why they have written does not belong to r it means there should be some element there should be some real number which are not smaller than their square or equal to their square okay and here we have a very special category of the real numbers from 0 to 1 all the fractional numbers if you increase the power from 0 to 1 then their value will go down for example 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 square means 1 over 2 1 over 2 square means 1 over 4 and which one is smaller 1 over 4 or 1 over 2 did you say 1 over 2 no this is greater so it is not less than or equal to 1 over 4 so this ordered pair 1 over 2 1 over 2 is not satisfying the condition so it will not belong to r okay now let's talk about another part of this question they say a b belongs to r doesn't imply that b a also belongs to r okay see we will consider first you will assume the ordered pair which satisfies this condition so a b belongs to r means we can take like 2 5 belongs to r yes or no 
because 2 is less than or equal to 5 square because 5 square is 25 but 5 2 doesn't belong to R and you can see why because 5 is not less than or equal to 2 square. Okay, so see whenever you have to give the negativity state negativity of the statement then one example is sufficient to write the answer. So, this is finished for this part. Okay, now the third part of the question is it is going to be little bigger AB belongs to R and BC belongs to R means you have to consider three numbers A, B and C so that AB satisfies the condition BC satisfies the condition but AC doesn't satisfy the condition. Okay, so let's talk about this. We can say, okay, 5 and 3 belongs to R. Yes or no? See, I will write here also. 5, 3 belongs to R as 5 is smaller than or equal to 3 square because 3 square is 9. So, it is correct. Now, 3, 2. 3, 2 belongs to R as 3 is smaller than or equal to 2 square, but 5, 2, A and C, you see, this A and C doesn't belong to R. Why? Because 5 is not less than or equal to 2 square. So, here for A, B, this is correct. For B, C, this is correct. But for A and C, this is not correct. So, this will be the answer. Like this, I told you for negative statement, only one example is sufficient to finish the question. Okay? Just try to write another combination of A, B and C and give me the answer in the comment box. Okay? Now, let us talk about this, this very easy question, but what, why, why I have written this question here? I will tell you. They say write the relation R, X and X cube such that X is a prime number less than 10. So, prime number less than 10. So, here first number will be the prime number and the second number will be its cube. So, what is the, what will be the first element? 1, 1 because 1 and 1 cube is 1. Okay? Did you say yes? But this is the wrong answer. Because of this only I have taken this example. Why? Because 1 is not taken as the prime number. Okay? So, prime number starts from 2. So, 2 and then 2 cube means 8 will be the first element. 3 is the prime number and power of 3, 3, 3 cube means 27. 4 is not a prime number, 5 is a prime number, so its cube here comes. Then 6 is not a prime number, 7 is a prime number. So 7 to the power 3 will be, I think, 343, just check the calculation, okay? Then 8 is not a prime number, 9 is not the prime number, so this will be the answer. So, do not write here 1, 1, okay? Then your answer will become wrong. Some marks will be deducted, okay? Now, let us talk about, okay? So, I am sure this example is clear to you, okay? And uh, in my another videos, I will tell you in more detail about the functions, okay? And I am sure these examples you have understood and it was little interesting for you. If you think that these videos will increase your knowledge, please uh, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.